Hey guys, Andrew here, and it's time to do a new tutorial on how to install the YouTube skill. So you're probably wondering to yourself, why are we doing another one of these? So essentially the old one used VoiceFlow and is having to rely on external APIs. While VoiceFlow itself worked perfectly, the external APIs we were working on Heroku and other platforms didn't. So this time, we've gone back to the old fashioned Python method and it's been completely written by, from scratch. It works much better. We've had skill in beta for the past few weeks and so far all's gone well. Right, let's get started. So, so you're going to need a laptop, computer, something which can run for 24 hours a day. So this could be a home NAS. This could be a home NAS or it could be something like a Raspberry Pi Zero. They cost about, about $10. And this project would run on one of those really easily. I'm just going to be using uh, Windows 10 then <laughs> today. So, first of all, we're going to need to install Docker. I've got all the links to do so from here. You can do it from Mac, Windows, or Linux. Just click, just click it, and it'll start downloading for you. So the installation could take up to 20 minutes depending on the speed of your device. Right, so. Um, can take a little while and you will need to reboot once you've finished installing it because I've already installed it I'm going to just move on to the next step installation so this command here will install the code essentially to your system um, and the, all the code is running in this virtual docker environment and so you won't need anything else apart from docker itself at the current and time the the software works with English and German languages so uh, I'm hoping to add support for Spanish and Italian this week but yes so currently just English and German so I'm going to copy this I'm going to go over to a PowerShell if you're on Mac or Linux you can use a terminal but I'm just going to use PowerShell because I'm on Windows. I'm going to make sure that you run it as root. So I'm going to run mine as an administrator. I'm just going to paste this in here. And where it says change me in the command, this needs to be something unique to you. Otherwise, whenever the code restarts or so loses connection to the server, you'll get a different URL. So I'm just going to type in Andrew's Tech. Where's that gone? There we go. Andrew's Tech. Put YouTube in. There. Uh, it says unable to find image Andrew's Tech slash alpha video latest locally. So it's going to start downloading it straight from Docker itself. So it's going to download it. And then in a minute, it will start aren't running it so this this generally doesn't take that long and uh, but it it really depends on how fast your wi-fi is and your system i'm going to come back once this has done its thing right so Mine's just finished, and you'll see after it says downloaded new image, there'll be a number after this. So we're going to copy this number, uh, and then we're going to type in docker container logs space, and then we're going to paste that number in. You should see this alpha video, and then my URL, my URL is Andrews Tech YouTube .it. So this software actually port forwards itself using a service called Local Tunnel, which means you are you don't have to do anything else essentially. So, oh yes, I've had said, but we are adding playlist support. It is 
it's here, but it's not linked to the skill yet. So I'm going to add slash API to my link. And then we're going to go, we need to save that for later. And it's now time for the Lex console. I'm going to go and sign in to that, and then I'll be back. Right, I'm now on the Alexa development console. If you if you decide to follow the text instructions, which I'll leave a link to, there's a link by clicking there. But I'll also leave a link in the description. Once we're on the Alexa development console, we're going to click Create Skill. Uh, so this is so we need to choose a skill name. I'm just going to call mine Alpha Video for YouTube, but it can be called anything. So uh, make sure you choose the default language. Currently English and German is supported. If that's updated, I'll add it to the description below. So make sure you choose custom and then provision your own. And then scroll up, click create skill. And then start from scratch and choose. This is going to you create the skill onto our account. It may take a few seconds. There we go. So we're going to scroll down to where it says endpoint. Scroll down again, click on HTTPS. We can remove these messages if we want. Select an SSL certificate type. My development endpoint is a subdomain of a domain that has a wildcard certificate from a certificate authority. You need to choose that for the default region. Go back, copy our URL, make sure it's got slash API on the end, and paste that in here. Click on save endpoints. That's now saved to the skip. So now we need our uh, JSON file. This is so um, you can download the English or German. I'm English, so I'm going to use the English one. So I'm just going to Control A to copy all this and Control C. I'm going to click on Interaction Model, JSON Editor. Click in here, Control A to select it all, and Control V to paste it. So that's now in there. I'm going to save the model. And now I'm going to go down to the interfaces tab. I'm going to enable audio player interface and the video app. The skill won't currently play videos apart from this is needed. Save interfaces again. And then finally, we're going to go into the innovation. I can't pronounce it. This tab. So you, this is how you will launch the skill. So I'm going to put in alpha video, but again, this can be whatever you want it to be. So save model, and then you want to click build model. And then this is going to uh, build the skill. This, this generally takes about a minute. We'll just wait a few more seconds. All right, so it's built it. It's now doing a quick train. So we we can go to the test tab now. And you want to you want to click click in the drop down menu, and you want to select development. But that's it, the skill is now enabled and you can launch it by, by saying what you set for the invocation. So I set my invocation to alpha video in, in there. So I, what I say to my Amazon Echo is launch alpha video and then the skill's working. Um, I hope that helped and hopefully I'll be making some more videos in the coming weeks. See ya.